Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at some viewer donations, which is something that I'm really excited about. We do these kind of videos occasionally on this channel. I've had uh, over the almost, well, over 11 years now of me doing YouTube videos, I've had a handful of people reach out and offer to donate some items to me to make videos on, which I really appreciate. I really appreciate everybody who has offered to send stuff to me over the years because it literally allows me to, to, to have things to make videos on, which is pretty awesome. And I've got two packages that we're going to be checking out today. Actually, the first one I already opened up because it got here a while ago and I was waiting for some other stuff to come in before I did this entire video here. Now this first set of items comes from a viewer named Alex and he got in contact with me I believe in early February and offered to send out a couple of uh, CD cases here. What is this you might ask? This is a Namco E3 press kit from 2005. Not only is this from E3, it's also the 50th anniversary edition here because uh, 2005 was Namco's 50th anniversary, which is uh, definitely pretty, pretty cool. So uh, you've got the Namco address here, at least in uh, California. And yeah, this was given out to, I assume, the press at Namco's booth at E3 2005. Which, uh, yeah, I thought was pretty cool because I had never seen one of these before. I guess Alex attended E3 2005 or knew somebody who did. He obviously got this somehow. And this was the main item that he offered to send me. These other things were just kind of extras that he had. So this right here is a copy of Animation Factory Templates to Go Volume 2. It, it's a set of templates for Microsoft PowerPoint. This would be kind of neat to cover uh, if I do like a PowerPoint related video or something. Templates will work with Macintosh and previous releases of PowerPoint, but some some features may be limited and it's made by a company called Animation Factory. Never heard of them before. Animation Factory Templates to Go Volume 2. And last but not least, certainly not least, we have a copy of Microsoft Revenge of Arcade with, you know, some other Namco related stuff here because this contains Miss Pac-Man, Rally X, all these mappy. Oh my gosh, man. I mean, I had a version of Microsoft Revenge of Arcade. I don't think it was this version because I, I didn't have Mappy on it, but I had like Pac-Man, uh, I think Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug was on there. I think it was Return to Arcade. And then this was like another version, I guess. But yeah, this would be really neat to uh, just to check out in a video. Look at this disc here too. And look at the old ESRB logos. Oh my gosh, does that take you back? But yeah, Microsoft Revenge of Arcade. It's a thing. And uh, now I've got a copy of it, a physical copy here. And yeah, I really, gosh, this stuff is just super cool. And yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Return of Arcade was the version that I played. But here's the instruction manual here. Super cool stuff, guys. I mean, gosh, this is just really, really neat to see. So yeah, start Microsoft Windows 95 or later or Windows NT. You must have administrator privileges to install the program. So yeah, this was... Uh, from the age of Windows 95. But yeah, let's take a look at the Namco E3 press kit here very briefly because like I said, I could do a full dedicated video on this, pretty much all of this stuff. So if you guys want to see anything on these, be sure to let me know. But you open it up here and you got Pac-Man. We'll open it up. So you've got trailers. You've got a CD or a DVD, I assume. There you go. Pretty awesome. So we'll throw that one back in there. Not throw it, but <laughs> put it back in here. And uh, this was also Pac Man's 25th anniversary, uh, it was in 2005. You can see 1980 to 2005. And inside of here, check this out Going Live in 05, Pack and Roll, Namco Museum, Pac Man World 3. I never played the original Pac Man World, but I played World 2 and World 3. The Namco Museum Battle Collection, Super Pac Man Pinball. I haven't heard of that one. And Pac Picks. Is that like a. This reminds me of Kid Picks, just this logo design here. I wonder if that had any relation to it. But just the design of this is like super cool. I mean, you've got like a Pac Man. Uh, level here on the bottom you open it up and this right here uh, are assets that's pretty awesome and you got the ghost designs from uh, I think Pac-Man World 2 so yeah that's that's pretty neat so we'll uh, close that up here and you also have what's even cooler is you have a bunch of uh, I think these are like little posters here I guess you would say it's an insert so it tells you a little bit about it uh, who the publisher and developer 
uh, are, and then this particular game was uh, going to be released on the GameCube, the PlayStation 2, and the Xbox. I personally had the GameCube version. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome stuff, guys, to say the least. I mean, absolutely. I had, like I said, I'd never seen one of these before. I mean, I've never been to E3. Um, that would be pretty cool to go one day, though. And huge thanks to Alex once again for your very generous donation. So we're going to set those aside. And next up, we have a package that just arrived today as I'm filming this. And obviously, I have not opened it yet. I wanted to save this to open on video. Okay, I have opened it a little bit because there was an address label on the inside here. Uh, from what this box was used for previously. I didn't want to show that on video, obviously. But this package right here comes from a viewer who goes by the name Zilch over on Twitter. Now, Zilch, I believe, is a graphic designer. And inside of this box is something really, really cool and really unique. These are custom-made, unofficial Windows CDs that are made to look like the real thing. And they can be used to burn ISO images to possibly beta ISO images, unofficial versions of Windows, etc. And uh, you can kind of give your, your personal collection a bit of a official feel, like as if these discs were actually made by Microsoft because they are absolutely designed that way. Now, I don't know if these are being offered for sale, but uh, when Zilch got in contact with me and offered to send me some, I said, absolutely. I believe Zilch mentioned um, that there was gonna be something else in here, like a surprise, uh, like a piece of software. Um, I don't know, but we're gonna open it up. It says this side up here, so let's just dive right into it. So we're gonna open this up uh, fully for the first time here, and let's see what Zilch has for us. Looks like we got a note here. Uh, let me read this off camera. It just looks like there's a card in here. Ooh, it's a business card. Isn't that nice? Check that out. That is a super official looking business card here. Zilchfox.com. So the letter reads, Hey Michael, here's those DVDs I promised. 15 in all, ready to burn whatever you want on them, plus one where I put POS Ready 2009 on it. I'm also including another gift, Windows Server 2003. Uh, I had a spare one sitting around. Hopefully you like it. Cheers, Zilch. P.S. I haven't handwritten a note in years. My printer ran out of ink. Okay. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome. And check, look at this, guys. I mean, check this out. Does this look official or what? Microsoft Windows custom build for personal use and archival purposes only, not for resale. And on the back, this is the one with POS Ready 2009 already on it. And it has a very XP-esque design, which I think is super cool. You got start here on the side. You got the XP My Computer icon, some screenshots of XP right here. And it tells you a little bit about it. And it says, you know, sometimes we like to archive our copies of Windows on physical media. And that could range anywhere all the way up to Windows 10. And it talks about if you're a collector who wants to archive copies of Windows that were never available on physical media, like POS Ray 2009, you could easily do it uh, with one of these here. And it says these DVDs are not official copies of Windows, however, uh, are custom tailored to fit our individual needs. And here is the disc itself. So it's got, uh, again, a very like XP-esque design here. It says uh, blank build DVD, not for resale, for replacement and archival purposes only, which kind of reminds me of an official disc that would say something like for distribution with a new PC only. I believe that would usually be in this place, but you got the official logo down there or the XP logo, Microsoft Windows custom build and a place to write whatever is on it, which again is just, I think, like I said, these are super cool, super unique, and uh, I don't know of anyone else who's doing this. So Zilch, as far as I know, is the only person, I mean, the only person who's gotten in contact with me, at least, that is uh, making stuff like this. So there's some more here, and these are all uh, blank ones. These are super, super cool. Now, I'm going to say this again because I know people are going to ask, if you can buy these, can I buy these? Where can I buy these? Is Zilch going to make these available for sale? I don't know. Honestly, I don't even think you could sell these because, I mean, look at it. It looks like an official Microsoft product. You've got the Microsoft logo up here. It says Windows. You got the XP logo here, though I'm certainly not a lawyer of any kind, so I really uh, don't know. But that is my honest guess uh, that these are probably not going to be made available for sale. But... All I know is that they exist. Zilt offered to send some to me, and I think they are super, super cool. So thank you, 
so much again, Zilge. This is probably like the best uh, fan-made Windows thing uh, that I've ever seen. So yeah, but that is not all that is in the box. So we're gonna set aside the custom Windows disks here because we have a copy of Windows Server 2003 and I believe uh, that is everything. So we'll take that out and I'll just look in here. And yep, that is everything. So we'll take the box and put it aside. And not only is this a promotional sample, it is a sealed promotional sample. Yeah, it's never been opened before. That is pretty awesome. So uh, this was not, I mean, this looks like retail packaging to me, but uh, this particular version was never sold in, in stores. There's no barcode on it anywhere um, or anything like that. So this was likely given out at some sort of event. Uh, that Microsoft put on or that Microsoft uh, was a part of in some way. I do have a promotional copy of Office 2008. In fact, let me grab it here. Office 08, it's almost as good as Madden 08. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so not for resale, promotional use only, and there's no barcode on the bottom or on the back like there typically is. So, uh, this is obviously the same way here, and yeah, I'm honestly gonna have to turn this over to you guys. Do you want me to open this up on video or should I keep it sealed? Because we already took a look at Server 2003 before, this particular version here, which is not the same. I believe this is R2, by the way, and this is the small business server version. This is Enterprise Edition, so they are gonna be different, obviously. And uh, yeah, this was sent to me by a viewer in Australia, and it is not a typical retail copy uh, like this, I believe, would be. I mean, this particular copy isn't, but this looks like retail packaging to me. So. Unfortunately, because YouTube, for whatever reason, removed the polls feature that used to be in the cards, uh, I can't do that anymore. So I'll have a Twitter poll down below in a pinned comment if you'd like to vote on uh, if I should open this or not. Do you want me to keep it sealed or do you want me to open it up on video? Be sure to let me know. But yeah, that is all I've got for you guys today. Huge thank you to Alex and Zilch once again for your very generous donations. I really appreciate it. And uh, huge thank you to anybody who has donated anything to me in the past. Uh, your donations absolutely help keep this channel going and uh, give me some pretty awesome stuff to make videos on. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.